Alright. Hey everybody. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a my BB form with um zero 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 web host. Okay. Well, my bad. Next uh what you're gonna need to do first is go to zero 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 web host. Click sign up. You can use your domain or you can use one of theirs. I'm just gonna use theirs for this um tutorial. I'm gonna name it site test. Add my name, my email, and then make a password. Then you gotta enter this code. Click I agree. You can read their terms of services if you want, but you don't really need to. It's already registered, so I gotta make a new one. I'll make it site test 12. <coughs> now I'll click create account again. Alright, I already have an account, so it detected that. So I'm just gonna log into my other account. But what you do is it sends you an activation email. You go in, you activate it, blah 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 blah. Click members area, and then what you do is you're gonna go log in with your email. Sorry guys, wrong one. I'm sorry about the wait there, but I have stuff on this one, so I'm going to go down here and click clean up and reload account real quick. You don't need to do that. Do not do that. But now go into your cPanel or whatever you want to call it. It's not cPanel. It's 000 web host panel. And you're going to need to go to mybb.com. You're going to have to click download now right there. I already have it. So I'm going to go to my downloads and open it. Okay, you're also going to need to go to your web host panel and come down here where it says UFTP details. And then I'm going to do FTP host name, copy, open filezilla. I'll have that link in the description. You need that in order to do this. Put that host name by the host. Copy your username and put it where it says username and then put in your password. Okay, do not delete these files. Do not upload there. Click public underscore HTML. Delete the um, default PHP file. Open up the MyBB files. Go to where it says upload. Copy all these files. Come down here and put them right there. Alright, it's going to upload now, but while it's doing that, go back to your 000 web host panel. Click go next to your domain name. Come down to where it says MySQL. Click it. Alright. Make um, a database name. I'm going to make it test. I'm going to make the username test. You want to make it more secure than that. But for purposes, I'm going to show you how to do it like this. Put your password. Not your password. You can make it any password. Make it secure though. And let it do that. It have all the information here for it. Leave that page open. I'm going to pause this until it comes back and these are done uploading. Wait a minute. Okay, so as you can see it has about 70 or give or take a few files left to upload. It's going pretty quick, but for the meantime, let me pause it for one more second. Alright, now as you can see everything is uploaded here, everything's done. What you're going to need to do now is go to your website URL, which is test, mine would be test. YouTube.comule.com. Alright, you're going to need to cut that URL, post it, and new thing. Now it says it gives you an error, so you're going to have to slash install slash install.php. No, cut that. Just go to slash install my. I'm sorry. 
hit up an uninstall wizard for you. You can send anonymous stuff for them, but I never do. Read the license agreement if you want, blah 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 blah, click next. Required checks are done, click next. Database configuration. This is where you came here and made this stuff. Okay. So the MySQL host, copy that and put it where it says database host name. Now, copy where it says MySQL database. Copy it. Post it where it says database name right here. And go back and find where it says MySQL user. Post that right there where it says database username. And then take your password copy it and put it right here on database password now you can leave all the other stuff the same and click next it'll create all the files for you and say done and stuff like that table population it's all done it'll then install the theme for you and it'll say it's done now board configuration Take make your form name whatever you want like I'll make it for test my form name and then leave this the same and then make my website form name now website URL just go up here copy this paste it here and put the little slash okay and leave the other stuff the same unless you want to make it put your email address there but I'm just going to leave it like that now make username and password so I'm going to put test as username test as the password and confirm the password and then put email at youtube.com not dot com my bad it's dot com you dot com click next and it then say finished setup now you can delete the install file but you can also do this I'm going to show you how to do it where you don't have to delete it just put lock go back and then go to the install file make sure that it is locked Air your installer is locked please remove lock and install directory to continue okay so that's all done now my form name is there and everything you've logged in now you got your form I'm gonna be uploading another video on how to use the form later on in time so check back later thanks